Nice singing. That's the kind of stuff I like. Welcome back, my very best friends. My name's Joel from Rumi Official, and today we're once again looking at some of the coolest things people can do with their mouths. And no, we're not on that other site you frequent. We are still on YouTube. We're talking about beatboxers who can also sing and all that sweet, sweet stuff. I did two videos on this in the past, and we're gonna check out some more because you guys just flooded me with suggestions on what to check out. So first off, we have this one guy called MB14, the test loop station. This is once again on the Swiss Beatbox channel. That seems to be one of the premier destinations for Beatbox on YouTube, if you want to check that out. Okay, I feel like maybe a loop station takes away from it a little bit for me. I don't know, the live aspect of making everything at the same time in your mouth is so central to me with how I've experienced Beatbox so far. But yeah, I'm willing to get proven wrong. Let's check it out. <laughs> I can't get over the people in the audience. That one guy. I keep thinking there's like a fly in my house. Okay, so there's something about loop pedals that I always felt like, whether it's beatbox or whatever, loop pedaling leads to kind of like boring buildups because there's always like one layer at a time buildup, which is kind of not a very exciting way to experience music, according to me. I feel the same way when like Ed Sheeran does like a big loop pedal setup with a bunch of stuff on top of each other. It just takes forever, forever to, to get, get there, there, while it gets more emotional impact for me when music just kind of like hits you hard immediately. Let's see where it goes with this. I hope I will be pleasantly surprised. Let's see. He can sing. <laughs> I love that. How are there so many sounds that are like undiscovered that only like a few beatboxers do with their voices? Like, why do all the rest of us, like, why do all our singers just be like, la 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 la, <laughs> whatever we're singing, right? And then these guys are just like exploring every little freaking cavity and every little like thing they can do with their lip or whatever. It's insane. The vocal bass is definitely something that I want to learn, like similarly to Codfish's vocal bass, because that's amazing. <laughs> That's really cool too. You could use that for so many things. I mean, in normal music production, you just use a synth for that. It's a lot cooler, I think, this way to kind of like put it into content. It, it does, you get more control as well. Like it's different. You have a lot of control over your mouth. Am I right? I am right. Oh my God, Joel, you're right. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you, you think I'm right. Okay, let's continue watching. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Man, it's such a fun mix of people at these things. I love this guy. This is like a, it looks a bit like a Hank Green. There's something about it though when you're getting electronics in there. Yes, all the sounds kind of come from his mouth, but also it seemed like he did some like filtering on top of the voice there in the end with the fast uh, sweeps and stuff, right? So then I'm like, yeah, it was really cool though. And up until that point, I don't think he did anything to like kind of mess with his voice that much apart from some basic mixing. Round one, it's on Zaro from France. Crowd, you know what to do? So this is Sorrow. They were doing a head-to-head -head battle in this then. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't get it. The bass seems really out of tune. I'm gonna leave it there. There's something about it when you're building a big landscape of a bunch of things like this, when it's not like, you know, entirely live, I guess. I mean, it is live, but it's not just the voice and someone doing it with the beatboxing. Okay, so if you haven't already, please like the video and I will hit myself in the face with this. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, thank you for liking the video. Oh, wow. Oh, it hurts so bad. Okay, let's continue. So there was another guy that people kept telling me to check out, Napalm. Who have Hiss versus Napalm. Let's see what this is like. So yeah, from what I gather, Napalm is kind of like a legend in the community and that's why he, just like Darnie, are like in the judging panel for these events. So this should be pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, 
Dubo, Dubo. So yeah, if you guys don't remember, the guy to the right is Napalm, and he's the guy that I said looked like he was about to poo himself uh, when he was in the jury listening to a lot of things. Uh, let's see if he looks like he's about to poo himself <laughs> when he does his beatboxing. I'm excited to check it out. Next round, but for now. <laughs> So fast. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang. Call me the monkey king, the monkey king. <laughs> <laughs> Call me the monkey king. Okay. Get it high. How does he do that? What is that sound? <laughs> You can't roll like this, like. I actually love the battle setup. That is like them against each other. <laughs> That's funny. I love that. Oh, pick my pick gap. What? 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 No! I was getting my water. <laughs> Did he just make it look like he was unzipping or zipping and then like pulling it out or like off? I was very confused from watching that, but it was cool. <laughs> anyway. That bass is low. What you see is what you get, get, get. Oh! That backwards what kick is see, crazy. Get, get. <laughs> it can do so many sounds at once. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we got. I have a video called The Best Beatboxer in the World, and it was 12 years ago. Let's see what's up. I mean, compared to the other stuff we've seen, the best beatboxer in the world. Come on. Well, really good at choosing like iconic beats to do, that's for sure. Okay. Top five EDM beatbox songs and covers. Okay. Interesting with duo beatboxing stuff. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> That's fun. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this guy. 80 fits, right? He's got a YouTube channel as well. That's cool. He's really leaning into the electronic stuff. But it's still alive, just his voice, one layer. Okay, so I think we featured this guy a little bit in another video, but anyway, his name is Thomas Sacre. I think he's the guy who went really hard on the low bass stuff. And a lot of you guys kept telling me to check out more of Thomas Sacre. So now we're doing it. Let's check it out. Oh, that's cool. I like dirty. <laughs> <laughs> like I can do it. I have the exact same microphone. Like there's nothing apart from my own skill keeping me from sounding like that. Am, am I close? <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's a cool sweep. <laughs> Nice singing. 
That's the kind of stuff I like, like when it's just like combines it. I think uh, Codfish did this really well as well. Uh, and a bunch of other people were like, just like when you're really singing and beatboxing together. So you're making proper music. That's like a song. I, I like that a lot. Even though I do like the beats and I like the bleh, bleh, bleh stuff. Like when you're combining those, I mean, th that's when it gets the closest to, to music, I guess. It is music. It's not even, it's not just close to music. It is music. All of it's music, okay? Man, I feel like I'm digging myself a hole here. That's not what I meant. Uh... <laughs> I like when they sing in the beatbox. <laughs> I have no idea how you do that sound. Whoa. Ah! That's just a burp. Come on. Oh my god. That's so crazy. He's insane. He's mental. He's amazing. Big ups to all the beatboxers in this video. Very, very nice. Okay, guys, click here for more music reaction slash commentary videos. Click here for me performing type slash video slash making music, whatever it is. I still want to learn beatbox. But I think it's amazing. I think there's really cool places where singing and beatboxing can meet in the middle. Many of these guys are already doing this. I would like to try it for myself. Very cool. And I will see you guys tomorrow in another video. Bye.